Days after the fatal school shooting in Perry, some of Iowa's youngest constituents are asking the legislature to take action against gun violence. Local 5's Megan McPherson has more on what a group of student activists want to see and their message to the head of the state. Hundreds of high schoolers from across Iowa. Descending on the state capitol Monday to make their voices heard. No more silence and gun violence. The rally comes just four days after one student was killed and several others were injured in a shooting at Perry High School. Student protesters accusing Governor Reynolds of inaction on gun violence that has created a sense of fear in Iowa schools. Gun violence has become normalized in our country. Students living in fear has become normalized. This East High School senior remembers when shots rang out outside his school just two years ago. You know, I was in an English classroom and it was this confusion and chaos, you know, about what had just happened. That shooting left one student dead and two critically injured. Those who were there that day now joining the fight to prevent further gun violence in Iowa. Since then, you know, I, I would like to say I've, I've been a bit of an advocate just for common sense gun legislation. I think anybody can agree upon it. In a letter to Governor Reynolds, the group March for Our Lives Iowa is now calling on lawmakers to pass new gun laws and place tighter restrictions. Iowans have had enough of prayers. We need action. You, Governor Reynolds, have the power to create meaningful change. You have the power to save more lives from being senselessly stolen in this state. Democratic lawmakers joined the students in their rallying efforts. Ending gun violence should not be a partisan issue. Keeping our children safe in schools should not be a partisan issue. Agreeing to work for change this session and encouraging students to continue their advocacy. Say to your parents, what are we going to do together to stop the violence? What are we going to do together to make this work for us? Reporting in Des Moines, Megan McPherson, Local 5 News. Earlier today, Governor Kim Reynolds issued a disaster proclamation for the city of Perry to help them recover from the shooting. The full proclamation allows Dallas County and the Perry community as a whole to utilize state resources and supplied as needed in their response to the incident. In a statement about her order, Reynolds called the shooting a quote, senseless tragedy. Now the family